Hello! In this video I'm going to unbox and review the QBot Rainbow, which is an Android mobile phone which you can buy on Amazon for about £65. Now remember to like, comment and subscribe. At 20,000 subscribers I'm going to give away an iPad mini to one of you randomly. Right, let's open the box and see what you get inside. So, we've got the mobile phone itself which um, looks pretty good so far. What else have we got in here? We've also got a quick start guide, uh, how to install a micro SD card. Also, this phone can take two SIM cards, which is pretty good. Also, we've got a micro USB to USB charging cable. And what's inside this? Uh, it's a USB wall adapter. So the phone is actually in a sort of plastic case. It comes with a, quite a nice transparent plastic case there, which is pretty good. If you want to protect your phone, stop it getting scratched. It's also inside a sort of protective thing here. So just from a distance here, you can see that it looks pretty nice. It's quite a good size for a smartphone. So it's comparable with the iPhone 6 in size. iPhone 6 is just a tiny bit smaller. Um, what about width? Width-wise, it's a tiny, tiny bit wider. Um, and it's about the same thickness. Just using my hands, it feels as if they're roughly the same weight. So that's quite good. In fact, it looks a little bit like an iPhone, doesn't it? But obviously at a fraction of the price. Right, let's take a closer look at it. So you can actually see the outline here of a screen protector that they've put on here as well. And I like having a screen protector. Stops the screen getting scratched, means your resale value will be higher because you can see that the screen is immaculate. You can see we've got a good speaker here. We've got this, which I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that's a... Um, that could be a light meter for changing the brightness of the screen and uh, that is a camera there. And on the bottom here we've got some pretty standard Android buttons, the back button, the home button and the sort of menu button. We've got this sort of white border here and then on the side here we've got a sort of gold surround leading up to the power button here and the volume controls there. On the top we've got the micro USB charging port the headphone jack, which is a rarity on mobile phones these days. We've got a flash and the camera. I believe this back bit just kind of clips off. So inside you can see where the uh, micro SD card goes and the two SIM cards, which is great if you've got um, two mobile phone contracts. You can sort of uh, flip between the two on one device, which is pretty useful. And we've got a great big battery in here. Okay, I'm greasing up the screen already, sorry about that, but let's turn it on. And while I'm turning it on, I'll talk a little bit about the specs. So this has got a quad-core processor, it's got a gigabyte of RAM, which isn't a huge amount, but it's enough for a mobile phone really. It's got 16 gigs of internal storage, which is great for storing all your music and some films and things like that. And obviously because it's got a micro SD card slot, you can also um, extend the capacity by up to 32 gigabytes, which is more than enough for all the kind of music and stuff you'll want to put on a phone. So as I said, this phone costs about 65 pounds, but Qbot has given me a voucher code that you can use if you want to buy this phone. Now this is actually running Android 6, um, which I guess could be updated in the future, but Android 6 is fairly new. I think the latest version is Android 7, um, so 6 isn't too shabby at all. And this is a 5-inch screen, which I guess is measured along the diagonals, as is um, usual. Um, and actually that's slightly bigger than the, um, than the iPhone 6 screen. Now the screen resolution on here is 1280 by 720, which is pretty good. It's probably not as high resolution as like a retina display that you get on an iPhone, but it does cost a quarter of the price. And to be honest, I'm really quite impressed by the vibrancy and the clarity of the colors on this. And this isn't even the brightest the screen gets, actually. I can make it like super, super bright, and it really is um, very colorful and, um, and crisp. So I don't think you'll have any problems at all viewing pictures on here or playing videos. Videos, I think it'll look pretty good. Now the battery in this is 2200 milliamp hours which is bigger than the iPhone 6 battery so you should get at least comparable sort of um, battery life to an iPhone but as with all of these smartphones you tend to want to sort of charge them once a day. I've charged the phone once since I received it and the battery's gone down to I think 55% 
um, and I've used it quite a bit. I've been using it to demo some of the watches and things that for the reviews that I film, um, but it's only gone down to 55%, so that's pretty good, really. There's Bluetooth, obviously, so you can attach Bluetooth headphones or attach it to Bluetooth speakers or whatever, um, or maybe you've got a Bluetooth smartwatch, like the ones I review on this channel. You can pair it with this phone. It's also got Wi-Fi, and I had no trouble at all connect connecting to any of my wireless networks. It's also got GPS as well, so you can use things like um, Google Maps, and you could really, I suppose, because given the size of the screen on this phone, you could use it as a GPS in your car. Now, because it's got a flash on the back, you can, you can also use this sort of torch function here, so it can blind you there. And because it's Android 6, it's got all the sort of usual sort of Android-y sort of things. So if you've used an Android device before, this will be incredibly familiar to you. Now we've also got um, two cameras on here. We've got a back facing camera on this that is 13 megapixels, which is really, really good. And I guess if I press that, we'll take a picture like that. So let's take a quick look at that and see whether or not um, it's any good. So I would say actually that's pretty damn good, to be honest, on a phone that costs 65 pounds. And we've got a front facing camera the front facing one is five megapixels. So that's usual, they're usually not as good as the um, as the back facing camera. That should be enough for your Snapchats or whatever, I guess. And you can also do video on this by the looks of it as well. Now it doesn't come with a huge amount pre-installed on it, which I'm happy about because I think really you wanna choose your own apps. I've added a couple on here myself, but it just comes with the essentials basically. You don't want your device storage clogged up with unnecessary apps. And one of the features on here that I quite like the look of is this FM radio. Now you have to plug in some earphones, so I'll just go and get some. So I've got some cheapo earphones here, so let's plug those in there and see if we can use this uh, radio function. I can't play you any audio for copyright reasons, but you can see it's found Radio 2 on here and uh, it is, I can confirm, playing music through the earphone. So that's a pretty good feature and that doesn't require Wi-Fi. So here's a YouTube um, video, one of my YouTube videos, and you can see the quality looks pretty good, to be honest. You can't really tell that it's even on a phone, can you? And it plays very smoothly and um, the resolution is very good. So that's, that's very good. Now if I press this button down here and go back to the home screen on here, gives me a chance to talk about the performance of this phone. So I really haven't found it lagging or anything at all. It seems very, very smooth to use. I was doing a bit of research about custom watch faces on um, some of these smart watches. And uh, as you can see, I've like gone to a forum here on Chrome, which is pre-installed on this device. You can see there's no problem at all scrolling up and down this page. Um, so really, I mean, this is, it's quite impressive for 65 pounds. I think this is a really attractive phone, actually. It rivals the iPhone in its sort of simplicity and beauty. Um, and for 65 quid, you can't really go wrong, can you? Now, white phones are really in fashion at the moment, but you can also get this in red and black as well. I don't know if this is a feature with all Android phones and Android devices, but when you press these buttons at the bottom here, the phone vibrates slightly, so you get a little bit of sort of tactile feedback. And you can actually hear it, I think, if I hold it up to the speaker. If you've ever used an Android phone before, then all the sort of text messaging stuff should be familiar to you. The on-screen keyboard is really easy to use, as you can see. Easier still when you uh, use the phone on the side and the keyboard actually changes orientation like this, so you can type with two thumbs. And phone calls are equally as easy to make. So in conclusion, for £65, a reasonably specced phone with a nice colour screen that's a nice size, Android 6, nice 13 megapixel rear camera, I'm quite impressed with this and I would pay £65 for this and I think this is actually going to be my uh, my sort of go-to Android phone now when I'm testing Android smartwatches. I'll leave a link in the description box down below if you want to take a look at this for yourself. And remember, there's a voucher code in the description box down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time for another unboxing and review. <laughs>